I was looking on Facebook and I was surprised about how people are dressed on there. The women, and I am going to speak about the men as well. Pretty much placing emphasis on the breast and the butt. Let me ask you this. If you are going to show yourself pretty much mainly about your breast in your butt, like if you are using those things to bait men or women in these days now, let's say men to make this easier if you are using your breasts and butt to bait men why would you be surprised if they only want that why would it be a surprise too often not so often in these days sometimes i hear it off and on men are dogs men only want sex how are you displaying yourself if a woman let's say an old woman who is really obese let's say that person walked outside naked i think that would pull so many people's attention not so much because she is pretty not so much because whatever like that but it is abnormal to walk outside naked, right? So if you are a woman and you are wearing clothing that expresses the shape of your behind and breasts, I think much of the time you are going to get attention. The wrong attention I believe in many cases. The way you present yourself, I believe people are going to treat you somewhat in that way. If you present yourself as a whore, won't people treat you like a whore? Right? If you present yourself as trash, won't people treat you as such? Right? Like, not saying you should be treated in the wrong way. I am not saying that. But, What I see at times, and I have spoken to some women, some women may not want to do certain things, but they feel perhaps peer, peer pressured to do certain things perhaps to dress or appear a certain way. Don't go for it. 
You don't have to follow the crowd. You don't have to fit in all the time. I know I don't. I know I don't fit in so much because I am different. I don't want to do something I am not really interested in. I don't fit in so well. Who cares? Dress in a responsible way. Dressed modestly. Modestly. Dress with sense. I hope this is making sense. Stop complaining about men being dogs if you are going to dress very sloppy, very whorish, if that is a word. Whorish. Right? For men, there is a guy and I don't know if he was playing around. Maybe he was, maybe he was not. As it seemed to me, that man was speaking to a woman like, like I said, I don't know if he was playing games or if he was serious, but he was trying to make money as if it is nothing to give it to her. Like pushing money in the forefront other than himself, if that makes any sense. Like, this may not be the case, but like, I want to give you money for you to like me, but I don't really want to show my personality. So let my money do the speaking for me other than showing my true self to you. That may have not been the case, but from the outside view, it seemed that way to me. Okay. I believe that man complained <laughs> about the woman wanting his money. <laughs> you are telling the woman that you are going to give her this, you are going to give her that. From what appeared to me, he was pushing money out, like the conversation, as in, like, I have money, I can do this for you, I can do that for you, stuff like that. But if she wants the money, if she wants the money, why would you complain about her wanting your money that is senseless and i think some guys are like that i guess they think inside of their mind to get a woman to like them they have to show them money they have to tell them girl i can buy you this i can buy you that money is no thing let me do this here for you. If you are going to be like that, why would you, why would you care if you attract women who want your money? How can you say women only want money 
when you are talking about money so much? How weird is that? Honestly, how strange is that? Why not talk to a woman? Why not have a genuine conversation with her? What is wrong with that? If she likes you by how you are, it may work. You don't have to attract a woman with your money. You don't have to attract a woman with tangible things. Attract them with how you are, with your personality, with your likes and dislikes. Show yourself for who you are, other than this ingenuine interactions. Hey, I am feeling so insecure that I have to show my money. I have to show my Rolex. I have to show my Mercedes to get women to like me. How nonsense, I think. So much nonsense. I think that is how you attract the wrong attention. You want someone to be genuine with you, but you are being ingenuine. You are being fake, in a sense. If you want someone to love you for the way you are, put away the watches, put away the cars, put away the designer clothes, bring yourself. Talk to that person about yourself. Don't bring up money. Don't bring up what you have. Just bring up conversations about yourself. If someone doesn't like you for who you are, go to the next. Go to the next one. Go to another. Right? You don't have to dress like a whore. You don't have to show your breasts through your clothes and your behind and your thighs and stuff like that. You don't have to do that. You don't have to show your money. You don't have to show your assets like your cars and stuff like that, if they are assets. You don't have to show what you own. You don't have to tell a person how much you have in the bank. You are possibly attracting the wrong type of attention. And if you do such, why would you be surprised if someone is using you for what you are advertising. I hope this makes sense, man. You want a genuine woman. You want a genuine man, but you are not genuine. You are not. You are putting out things to get people to like you, which they are not really liking you. They are liking the breasts. They are liking the butt. They are liking the cars. They are liking the money. So you are putting stuff that is not you, personality-wise, but you are putting these things out, I guess, in a sense, to be deceptive, other than putting 
your personality out. Be yourself. You don't have to expose anything. You don't have to brag about anything. Show yourself. I hope this makes sense. When you be fake, or if you be this whore or this bragger, don't be surprised if you get bad results, right? Right. Honestly, stop this Facebook exposing your body stuff. It is senseless. Like, I think you are ensuring you either obtaining a bad husband or bad boyfriends for the rest of your life as long as you continue this there may be some this may not be in every case but i believe in many cases may god bless you